Today we're looking at a fully automated wash, rinse, rinse with regenerative DI cascade overflowing rinse tanks for an aerospace application. Fully automated with two by two tank or uh, baskets that are automatically loaded in this infeed conveyor capable of three baskets, two by two with uh, foot partitions in it for various parts. You can see we have pneumatic rams that will lift platforms up so we can load at ergonomic heights but have the tanks at uh, full tank depths that were required for the process. Each stage has various chemistries in it. This one is for various metal cleaning including true oils with an oil coalescer and a sparger here on the side. Uh, five horsepower pump to turbulate the tank and uh, filter out any kind of particulate down to the particulate levels of 150 or 25 micron depending on customer requirements. This transfer arm here is what is able to index the parts from stage to stage and then go on through our uh, fully automated uh, enclosed conveyor dryer. This next tank here is our first rinse tank. Make makeup is DI water down to uh, about uh, 10 mega ohm. Again we have a uh, cascade overflow weir for drain this tank is run by a three horsepower turbulation pump to get good uh, recirculation. One point of note also in this wash tank and in the rinse tank is 25 kilohertz, um, 8,000 watt ultrasonics on about a 200 gallon tank. So a good ultrasonic watt density. This rinse tank is capable of also having ultrasonics at a later date and be retrofitted. The platform capacity is about 200 pounds, although our customer is only running about uh, 60 to 75 pounds of parts and basket in it. And the third tank here is our, is our second rinse tank. Makeup is deionized water from the regenerative deionized system here that I'll show you in a second. With a cascade overflow weir to go into the, the first rinse tank and it's always being regenerated or it can be process monitored with our uh, uh, conductivity resistivity uh, meter to uh, be able to control down to the process level uh, requirements. In this case, about uh, 200 ppm or TDS, total dissolved solids, is required for this application. After each process is, is done, we're able to uh, move along to our uh, automated drying system and uh, dry the parts off with air knives from the vertical end. As you can see here is air knives to come through and dry our parts. All the tanks have auto water fill make water makeup. So we're always operating at the same level and ensuring that uh, any evaporative losses are made up for in the tanks. The unload conveyor here is capable of five baskets. There's roller brakes on this decline so we can ergonomically unload the baskets, get uh, be able to transfer them out of the, the heated dryer. And uh, this 90 degree transfer conveyor has a belt to unload them from the dryer and then another powered rollers here that lift up that will transfer them onto the unload conveyor. Everything's run by proximity sensors to ensure that all the baskets are out of the way of each other and not have any issues. Here is the DI system with the carbon cation and anion uh, tanks to uh, be able to continuously regenerate the uh, water through the system. The rose mount analytics uh, panel display is able to display in various readings including TDS, total dissolved solids, uh, micro siemens, mega ohm, kilo ohm, etc. This counter flow system is completely closed loop so we're able to add fresh water from, from uh, the water source here to make up for evaporative losses and any time that, uh, that meter senses that we're above the PPM limit or TDS limit of uh, the application. It turns on this recirculation pump, pulls water from rinse tank number one, pushes it through these beds into rinse tank number two, and uh, maintains that uh, uh, resistivity, conductivity, water quality limits set forth in the programming. Then all of the, uh, all of the tanks have 30-inch uh, filters, 8 by 30 filters with uh, three horsepower pumps on the two rinse tanks and a five horsepower pump on the wash. The oil coalescer here is run by is run by a, uh, a one and a half horsepower pump 
that allows us to be able to uh, recirculate with the sparger and coalesce any uh, oil that comes out uh, of the wash tank to ensure that we have cleanly uh, chemistry coming back into the tank at all times. So the way that this uh, coalescer works is this first stage here is gravity fed on this pipe from wash tank, gravity fed on the overflow weir from the sparger into the coalescing media and then we have a counterflow or a cascade flow um, that goes into this overflow which back feeds into our uh, process tank from that pump that I just showed you. We have a solenoid here with auto water makeup and you can see a, a low level float to ensure that we're running the process uh, at the correct levels. This tank also allows for a little bit of makeup uh, water to be able to uh, to withstand any kind of variations in levels from turbulation in the tank as well. The control panel is completely UL certified, ETL certed. Running Allen Bradley PLCs in here. Touch panel, HMI, allows various aspects of programming to be changed, including temp, time, ultrasonic time, agitation lengths, and uh, so on and so forth. We have a uh, exhaust plenum here for getting any evaporative losses and condensate out of the system that run uh, across the ceiling and then up uh, stack up the, through the ceiling for the uh, condensate. All condensate itself, liquid-wise, is trapped and brought back into the uh, process tank. The dryer here, full regenerative dryer, um, able to uh, evaporate any kind of uh, moisture coming from our parts, and uh, it's a, those are all returned through into the uh, process tanks and sucked through uh, the evaporating or the uh, exhaust dryer plenum here that you see on the top of the system. There's four exhaust ports for the. Uh, exhaust system above each tank and then in the uh, dryer itself to make sure that uh, any evaporative losses are pulled out rather than condensing on uh, various aspects and various components of the system. Everything is completely 302 and 316 stainless to ensure uh, that we don't have any corrosion in our, in our tanks um, since we're running DI water and such. Again that's best technologies wash, rinse, rinse, tunnel dryer, fully automated with regenerative DI water system.